I can't recommend this draft stopper product at all. It's very disappointing that the lid is far too heavy for any exhaust fan on the market to push open. My bathroom can't exhaust any air if the lid is too heavy. Disappointing this won't work with a regular fan. Your fan sucks. <laughs> So recently, we've been hearing some concerns about our draft stoppers not opening. And the reason for that is the fan does not have enough power. So today, me and Daniel are gonna show you two fans, one high powered and one low powered, and demonstrate what's going on. So here we've got a regular fan you can get from a big box hardware store. Um, just anything off the market you could usually get. We've got here to test, it's a 4.2 watt fan just running here. And we're gonna test it with this flow hood that Max is gonna pass to me right now. So this thing that we've got on top of the fan here is a flow hood that will measure the flow rate going through the fan um, as it exhausts out of this bathroom setup we've got here. So it'll give us a reading in liters per second. It'll give it a moment to stabilize the pressure. And there we have a nice little reading in green there, which is 38.5 liters per second, which is certainly not enough to extract the amount of air in your bathroom usually. We've also got the, the test setup that is open at the moment. So we're, we're getting a lot more airflow than we usually would with the door closed in a normal bathroom setup. All right, so let's try closing the door and see what happens to the flow rate. Yep, so now you can see the flow rate has gone down to 23 liters per second, which is under the 25 liters per second required by the Australian uh, National Construction Code. So it's not moving enough air to meet code requirements. So this fan is underpowered. Just to show you how underpowered the fan is, we've just got our draft stopper from Tight House and we're just gonna chuck it on here. And as you can see, hands free, the lid is still closed. There is not enough air <laughs> pushing through the fan and out being exhausted to push this damper open. Even with the door off and the fan having access to the most air possible, there's still no movement on the lid. So now we're gonna swap out this fan for a high powered one and test the results for that. So this is another fan that you can get from any old hardware store. This one's 28 watts instead of 4.2 and it's only a little bit more expensive than the first one we tested. So let's see how it performs. So for this test, we've got the door off just to start with to see what the bathroom condition would be like if we just had the door open and your exhaust fan on. All right. So with essentially unlimited access to air, this fan's putting out 82.5 liters per second. That's more than double the first fan with the same amount of air and it's only a little bit more expensive. Uh, let's try it again with the door shut and see what happens. All right, and with our door shut, we're still at 53 liters per second. That's still three times higher almost than our first fan with the door closed. Let's see if it can lift up our draft stopper even with the door closed. On goes our draft stopper. Even with our door completely shut and just a Q vent allowing air through, the lid is still comfortably opening. The Q vent is a great addition to this system. It means that even with your bathroom door closed, you still have enough supply air so that our draft stopper can be lifted and our fan can be running at a really high efficiency. Both of these products are available at tighthouse.com.au. So after two tests we've done, we can see that the lower power fan, while it is a bit more high efficiency with the lower wattage, doesn't push enough air to exhaust our bathroom properly. And you're better off going with a little bit more of a higher power option that you could also get at a highway store for a similar price. On goes our draft stopper. <laughs> Look, mom, no hands. <laughs> cut some of that out. So while our lower power fan might have 700% less power usage, it's 100% waste if it doesn't do the job properly. 